all right so now finally i want to explain this memory interface the soc says that ti supports memory interfaces for nand nor types of memory devices and also it supports connecting the ddr memory devices for example this is how you can connect the nand or nor flash to the soc there is a memory controller engine called gpmc which stands for general purpose memory controller and that allows you to connect nand or nor types of flash devices to the soc also, you can use DDR controller of the SOC to connect the DDR SD RAM. Let's go to the schematic and check how DDR memory is connected to the SOC. On the BeagleBone Black Hardware Revision C, you have got 512 MB of DDR3 memory whose component name is U12. Now, let's just search for U12 in the schematic. So, let's go to the data sheet and here just type in u12 okay all right so here it is so the u12 is actually um, uh, the ddr3 uh, uh, sdram right so this is the part number of uh, uh, this RAM memory which says that it is 4 GB uh, of DDR3 uh, even though this chip is 4 GB uh, actually the Beagle board utilizes only 512 MB of this memory okay so you can copy this part number and uh, all right so uh, this uh, DDR3 is actually from Kingston Technology. Okay, so let's go and check the data sheet of that. So here you can see uh, this is the uh, DDR3 uh, RAM which is there on uh, your Beagle board. So which, whose capacity is 4 GB and its memory organization is 256 meg by 16 okay and the maximum uh, throughput is around 1600 uh, megabits per second all right so if, if you are interested you can go through this data sheet uh, to understand the ddr3 uh, chipset which is used uh, on the beagle board on the beagle bone black so but how uh, this chip is connected is through ddr lines okay so here you can see uh, these are the DDR related pins which going all the way to the SOC all right so for example uh, you can copy this and you can paste here and just give a search yes here you can see this is our AM uh, 335X SOC isn't it so so here you can see the DDR is actually connected through these DDR pins of the SOC. All right. So to conclude, if you want to connect an external static RAM or external NAND flash or NOR flash, it has to go through the GPMC connection. Okay, where GPMC is a memory controller provided by the SOC but if you want to connect a dynamic ram such as ddr2 or ddr3 etc it has to go through the ddr controller present in the soc which is also called as emif so the emif used to interface the dynamic memory and gpmc engine is used to interface the static and nand based memory devices all right so for further information you have to go through this section of the trm to understand more great so now let's find out how the uh, emmc uh, memory is connected uh, to the soc the emmc component number uh, on the beagle bone 
black hardware is you wait a minute I'm checking it is it is u13 okay just search for u13 over here okay so here it is so this is the emmc memory which is there on your beaglebone black hardware and i think this is the part number let's copy this and just do a search over here yes you can see that it is from micron technology okay so just open these links yes here it says that it is a emmc right you can also access the data sheet of that so this emmc is available in various size for 2 gb 4 gb 8 gb 16 gb etc okay so here is a data sheet of the emmc memory and you can see that it operates over the the mmc interface so this chip you have to connect to the uh, soc or the mmc interface okay and this chip has a built-in mmc controller which drives the nand flash sitting inside this emmc memory device okay so now let's go back uh, to see how this chip is connected to our soc this is our emmc memory right so here you can see that the emmc memory is interfaced through the mmc1 interface right so why because the data sheet says that it has to be connected to the soc over the mmc interface so there are two mmc interfaces one is mmc0 and another one is mmc1 on the am335x soc so mmc0 is used for sd card interface and the mmc1 is used for emmc interface on the beaglebone black hardware okay so just copy this and you can search over here so it will take you to the soc okay here you can see uh, the same pin is also available on the expansion header p8 okay great so now let's search so here you can see this is our soc right so so here it is the emmc is connected through these lines to the soc okay here you can see these pins has uh, multiple functionalities like gpmc and mmc1 data zero is one among uh, multiple functionalities okay so so that's how you connect uh, the emmc to the soc through the mmc1 interface all right and uh, you also has a mmc uh, zero interface right here just copy this and search where it will lead to okay so let me copy this okay and search okay so it is taking you somewhere here what is this ah this is the micro sd connector so you got it the micro sd connector is connected to the soc over the mmc0 pins okay so that means the mmc0 is connected to the micro sd and mmc1 is connected to the emmc great here i will end my discussion on the am 35 x functional block diagram and if you need any clarification you can always raise your questions and also you can go through the trm of the am 35 x soc to understand more and as we make a progress in the course okay so i will reveal more information about the soc and its various peripherals great i will see you in the next lecture